y'all check it out. You know what it is. It's your boy Whiskey P. And you're listening to the one and only Rob G. Inside the Mix. Check it out. DJing for just over 15 years. Um, before that, I was collecting a lot of music and doing like pause button tapes and stuff. Yeah. Um, always, always been into music. Uh, my mom used to play a lot of disco and stuff, dance stuff around the house, and it was kind of always a theme there in the background. I had a babysitter in public school who had a little Radio Shack, like wooden paneled uh, mixer, and he would like make mixtapes for me and stuff. And I had a birthday party, and he made me a mixtape, and you know. It, he thought about what tracks went in what order, and there was a bit of mixing, not necessarily blending the way we do now. Um, and then, yeah, it just kind of always stayed with me. And then I got into dancing, and when I'd go dancing, there's always a DJ, and you know, if the DJ was doing well, I could dance better. If he wasn't, I couldn't. And I just started collecting all this music, and I don't know the opportunities fell on me. Uh, a teen club where I lived outside of Barrie in Borden, I was always having around the booth. The DJs were always boring music off me, and back then it was like, you know, uh, funky hip-hop, early house, dance, and they'd play a slow song so everyone can dance. Um, and when that DJ left, they're like, Rob, like you're always in the booth anyway, you've got all the music. So, and then I got into it then. And it just as my, my tastes changed, my DJing changed. Someone brought me to a rave and it blew my brain apart. And then I'm like, hey, I don't have to play any radio music. I can just, there's this whole other world. So, I'm a party DJ, right? I, there's a lot of guys that, I'm serious, what I always to say is I'm, uh, serious about what I do but I don't play serious music so and I enjoy it and I want other people to enjoy it and if I'm standing up there looking like a bored science teacher who has the worst job in the world going Meh, how's anyone else in front of me supposed to have a good time when you're making music it's just you know it's for you or like your friends or like or your dance floors that you're playing it to and you kind of forget the broader scope uh, until you see someone else play it to an audience or you hear it on a radio show I, it's, it's humbling, especially because there's a lot of people that, you know, if you see someone playing your music that you're like, wow, I, I look up to this person, or I've been listening or following this artist for five or ten years, and now they're giving a nod to my music. So it's huge. Uh, lots of stuff in the pipe. Uh, a couple weeks out from now is a remix collaboration I did with Lazy Rich. Uh, it's an artist from um, Saskatchewan called Flatland Funk, uh, and a vocalist. Uh, Tony D uh, and yeah I had some time off on a tour out west my last trip uh, was talking to Lazy Rich like hey do you want to work on some music he said sure and I showed up at his place uh, and it's like hey well we've got one day we've only got one day how good of an original can we really make in one day probably not so hot let's do a remix and he said hey I've got this part I've got this track and it was I don't know it's kind of it's everything we did went amazingly like we're like let's try that oh it sounds great but, you know like well why don't we try this because we know what's going to work and we had a little rave up in his uh, basement studio and I think now it's at pushing 11 or 12,000 plays on SoundCloud again it really happened in a couple of weeks like it was blogged in Portugal and Spain and New Zealand and New York and Phoenix like if you google it now there's it's all over the place people talking about it that drops in two weeks something I can't live without in my suitcase um, Febreze and Visine, <laughs> by far, right? It's, I hate packing heavy, and sure, I can bring like more jeans or whatever, but I refuse to check luggage. Uh, just too many bad experiences with checking luggage and things going missing or whatever. So I'd rather put on a pair of pants that I partied in last night and Febreze it than trying to, to check luggage. Uh, it's the same thing. Like Sometimes, you know, you shouldn't go to the after party, but you go to the after party. Sometimes you play three nights of four, uh, sometimes that flight's first thing in the morning um, and if you wanted, you know, if something's wrong at the airport and you need help and you go up to the counter looking like shit with bloodshot eyes and like you've been up all night, then you don't get the same service. So, you know, a bit of Febreze and a bit of uh, some eye drops go a long way. Come out January 20th to the Live Music TO Showcase and see me, Rob G, at Hard Luck Bar in Toronto. Hard Luck Bar! Why can't I f***? <laughs>